Hey guys, it's Christina Marie here um, with a video that was requested about two, three weeks ago. Sorry. Um, when I did my, well maybe not three weeks ago, I don't feel like it was that long, maybe a couple weeks ago, when I did my um, iPad video, just showing you that I got a new iPad, um, I got a request to do a what's on my iPad video, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. As you know, this is it here and uh, this is what it looks like my background is a heart with um, headphones because I'm a music buff love music I studied it in school so um, that's something I really love to do or really love to listen to or really love to study so right on the beginning at the beginning I just have your basic apps your calendar photos contacts maps things like that then I also have the weather channel app on here which I think is pretty cool because here in the Midwest you guys didn't know I live in Kansas City the weather changes like mad so I like to have this app um, so it can <laughs> tell me when the weather is gonna change because uh, sometimes I just don't know about this Midwest weather okay and then I have a whole grouping right here of photo um, stuff right there and in there I have my camera I have the FaceTime app I have a pro HDR camera I have collage apps um, another camera app I have something called Magisto luminance I have a pocket booth iPhoto and wallpapers in there so that's oh my gosh that's what I have all up in there and then I have another uh, group of things called the social networking group so I have my Facebook Twitter Instagram Gmail Pinterest Foursquare Yelp Storyfy and Hootsuite all in there and then I have music slash radio and I have my videos, iTunes, music, Pandora, SoundCloud, Spotify, K-Love, which is a Christian radio station out here in the Midwest. I think it's, well, it's other places in the country too, but the Midwest is where I was first familiar with it. And then I have SoundHound. If I don't know what a song is or who the song is by, that's the app right there that I use, the SoundHound app. Um, then I also have an entertainment group where I have my ESPN Sports, my IMDB, uh, Pulse News, Mashable, I have Angry Birds, um, Vodio, Netflix, Hulu Plus, Get Glue, DirecTV, and ABC Family in there. So that's where I get all of my TV and stuff will go there. And then um, the App Store. And then I have a section called the Jesus Corner. And that's my special area where I um, have my Bible apps, my devotionals, my church app is in here. I have three Bible apps. I have my church app, um, my devotional app, and then I have what's called the Planning Center Online, which is just an app for me. It's loading. I have to log into it. But this is where I get all my music because you know I sing at my church. This is where I get all my music listen to all the tracks and just prepare for rehearsals and for um, services so that's what that is and then I have my Nook app because I do have a Nook it's over there over there somewhere um, and I'm reading a book so here's my Nook app right here and then I have a foodie section I only have two apps in there I have Epicurious and on the road which is a food network app right there and then I have a finance section where I have my mint.com stuff my credit union and my AT&T app then I have my shopping section where I have Poshmark I have Sephora I have Amazon two types of Amazon with like one called window shop I have Beautylish I have QVC and I have pose in there and then I have a video section, which is not to be confused with my entertainment section, where I have Vivo, Vidi, Vivo HD, I have movie trailers, and then YouTube in there. And then settings, of course. And then I have a reference section with Wikipedia and Wikipanion. I have podcasts, a uh, vocal warm-up app right here, uh, a game called Blitz, which needs to be moved to the entertainment section, and I just haven't done it yet. And then iWatermark, which needs to be moved to the photo section, and I haven't done it yet either. And then I have Newsstand and the stupid game center that I don't ever play with, but I have it in the back, so I don't have to deal with it. And then down at the bottom, I have my mail app, my calendar app, 
Safari, photo booths, and messages. This calendar app is the business, you guys. Look at my calendar, like, isn't that cool? Like, that is crazy awesome. And it pulls information from uh, Google Calendar, so I didn't have to enter any of this in, it just pulled it from Google Calendars, which is really cool. Um, but then the other cool app that I wanted to talk to you about was the vocal warm-up one. I just think that's really, really cool here. It's just different vocal exercises that I can use to warm up. Um, and I get to choose different warm-ups. I can select the one that I want to use. And it's really, really cool. So that is all that I have on my iPad. Um, for my iPhone, which is right here, I have Michael Jackson as my screensaver because he is one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, on my iPhone, I have pretty much the same setup. Um, nothing too different, really, at all. It's literally almost the exact same setup, which is really, really cool. Um, there's really not much else that's different, except this has Passbook, which is right there. And I have a couple of, I don't want you guys to see all my business, my Sephora. Um, thing and my Walgreens thing member cards or whatever they're called and then um, yeah that's pretty much what I have on my iPhone I have the exact same thing so there's I just really gave you a two for one um, so yeah that's it really I just wanted to come on and show you guys what was on my iPhone and my iPad um, if you guys have done any of those videos feel free to do a video response down below. Leave a comment down below if there's any apps that I need to be checking out or if you have any questions about the apps that I use. Um, yeah, make sure that you guys also check out my previous video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week or are having a great week. I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading this. But uh, yeah, leave some comments letting me know if you want me to do any certain requests or if there's anything, any other topics you want me to talk about. Um, I'm in the process of reading this book here called uh, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and I am going to be uh, possibly doing a book review on it if you would like me to. I may just do it anyway just because it's therapeutic and cathartic for me to do stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so that's it for this video guys. I hope it was short enough. I tried not to go over five minutes but I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, until next time.